Continuing, I'm still gonna continue farming. Um, well, farming on the way to where you know, on my way towards progression. Come back here, get back here. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, I don't have to. Sword does a bit more damage, which is good. So, I was saying like the the, uh, the normal version of this of this game, since uh, is a lot more tougher, right? And it doesn't give you any defensive options. So it's either you upgrade your sword, get more skills, which we will get into later, or um, or or just increase your. Uh, your health bar that's basically it and you're not given any like i hate to i hate to use any dark souls references on this uh on this game given the time this was made but i have a shield but i can't use it i i have a sprightly young fella over here can't do a dodge roll to save his life so not sure if uh Hell, even his jump, I think, for uh, for some enemies, is like, well, for most enemies, it just does not work. So, basically, jumping in this game is just for, uh, wait, am I supposed to go here? Yeah, it's here. Nothing, there's nothing here. God damn it. Alright, let's go. No, 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 I shouldn't. Don't fight with me. Damn it. Okay, there we go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That was, uh, I was a little wet. Hope you don't mind it getting a little, a little wet. What am I doing with my life? Alright. So now, alright, then. You notice there's a shortcut over there. Just came from there, Prunewell. Thank you. Oh, look. There's a step switch. You will step on it. Something will happen, I believe. Well. Thank you, Prunewell. That is uh, very helpful of you. Wait, actually. Our bush is here. Bushes. Bush. 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 Drop money. Drop money. Bush. Alright. Um I don't think there's anything else here. Yeah, just have to take these out. So I mentioned a while ago that uh Oh no 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 yeah. damn it. I mentioned earlier that uh enemies there's no benefit to uh taking out enemies like they don't give experience points. There is no, um... Get up, damn it. Get up, flip. There we go. Like, there's no benefit to it. Except as progression blockers. Which is... Which is infuriating. I should pocket these. Yeah, put them in the pocket. There we go. Okay, so wait. I will sh Wait, let me show you folks what the compass actually does. This is all it does. That's it. In, there's no other indicator. It just tells you where north is. Thanks. I hate it. We're going back to, uh, going back to herbs. Okay. There's 
healing spot here. And yeah, and if you've personally played this game before, oh nice, you're my second visitor today. Ain't easy getting through that forest, kind of like pimping. All those monsters, I can add myself. Of course I can. And I'll probably say this a lot, but... I do enjoy games that have, like, some sort of charm to them. Even there's, like... Even if, like, mechanically, it's so flawed. But you can't help but feel like... Yeah, they put some... There's something here. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah, but, like, there is, a uh, You know... There's heart to it. And... I've made... Some games I've made... You know, my, uh, graduate thesis is a... Is a game. My, uh... My exhibit piece before graduating was also a game. And they're not exactly... <laughs> they're not exactly eye candy. See, you're... Yeah. So they're not exactly eye candy, but I put a lot of time into the, to them. Dang it, okay. You're both... Tough. And so, like, from that perspective, I can see, like, hey, they put a lot of time into this. And they put a lot of... The, not just time, but a lot of themselves into it. And that's what I appreciate about games like these. You could also make an argument like um, like really obscure games. Cause this is why I love the PS1 by the way. That console has just way too many obscure games, especially those that come out from Japan. You know that you know that sometimes they, they make ports for, sometimes they don't. But it's just so full of charm. And I'm just gonna ignore what Alexia is saying here, because obviously we have to we're just gonna be searching through, uh, throughout this ruins here and she'll forgive me for something that wasn't my fault so we're gonna continue ignoring what she's saying for now there's a piece of something in it uh, actually I was just ignoring I was just talking about ignoring her anyways so she gives us a puzzle a puzzle piece a puzzle piece but for um she found something interesting, something incredible. More over it this way. I, I, I'm sorry, guys. I can't ignore her. I wish I could. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is, but it's huge. Yeah, so this game has its flaws. But it's something that you could possibly enjoy is what I'm trying to say. So what do you think, Flint? What could it be? It's an airship. It's an airship. Again, like... This art style lends itself well to designing like really nice looking mechs for like more organic stuff like uh, trees and leaves. It, it, it's, it's a hot mess, but for this, you know, for this art style, it, Makes mechs look really nice. I wonder if it's trying to, it's got anything to do with that flying monster. Everyone's talking about it. Anyway, let's split up and take a look around. I will. I think it's somewhere here. No, wrong, wrong, wrong area. Oop, there it is. I mean, by the way, guys, if, like, you have, 
I guess, ideas or games that you personally enjoyed. Oh, there he is. Okay, so Alexia was here, here ahead of us. Oh, Flint. Have you seen one of these before? Yes. Not gonna lie. So then you probably already know what I'm about to tell you. These things used to be humans. Oh, okay, well. That they were transformed into androids. I've learned about these in textbooks, but I've never actually seen one before. This is it. This is what the children were talking about. Flint, there must be proof linking Baron Diaz with the pirates around here somewhere. Let's spit up again. I'll look around this way. Sure. I mean, I'm just gonna follow the exact um, entrance that you went through, so... Mm. Okay, this looks like damage. Steam is always damage. Okay. So, I mentioned that, um... Yeah. Yeah, we're going up. So, we're back in the, uh... The starting... <laughs> we're back in the starting area. Alright, so... We're back in the starting area for now, and I, I like this sort of, uh, I like going back to earlier places, but with a, with a, with a twist to them. I don't, I love that, but I feel like this, it's too early. Wait, this is too, uh, it's too far out. But I feel like for this game, it's too early. No! Damn it. It's too early to revisit old areas. Especially for like... Like... Alright, we're, we're gonna... Alright, get some items here. I feel like it's too early. I think... You should hold your cards closer... Before revealing, it, revealing them all at once. But again, I, I enjoy it. It's fine. If you do it much later, I, I would have marked out. But hey, it's uh, it's always a nice thing to do. Like you revisit, you know. Then again, like this area, we didn't spend that much time on this area, so it doesn't hold a lot of uh. I don't know what the word is. Gravitas to it. Right, then we go back. I think we've cleared this entire area. And I guess this is this is what jumping is good for. That's it. It's not um It serves no combat purpose. Probably just like a jump slash. Which I haven't I haven't done as much. Alright. Captain's quarters. Alright, let's save for a bit. All right, there we go. We are saving. Is this the right way? All right, yeah, this is correct. I did not save after getting the sword, so me dying between now and then would have been bad. But, eh, lucky. I was lucky. That was a bit ballsy on my part, but then again, this is on easy, so I don't have to worry about, you know, uh, resource management. Which is an actual thing when you're playing this on normal. Since enemies hit harder comparatively, like two hits is rough is roughly equivalent to uh to uh one healing her healing her healing herb. Healing herb. Comment below if you pronounce herb as herb or herb. With that, with, that, with that silent H. Over here, there's something on the ground. I found it, Flint. It's just like the kind of... This is just the kind of proof I need. Take a look at this. See? It's a letter from Baron Diaz addressed to the pirates. Yep, just bow like a good boy. Good boy, Flint. And with this, I get the people of Varun to stand up against the Varun... Ba Varun... Baron to Lady Milena. Have a few of your men keep an eye on the androids. You must be cautious of our new partner. Sincerely, Diaz. Flint, you know who Melina 
is the present leader. You know Melina is the present leader of the pirates. Man, my dyslexia is just showing up now. <laughs> this new partner scares me. We're going to have to look for more information about this new partner. Well, I think we'll find out about the new partners very soon, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, like, if you guys have, like, games that, I wouldn't call them underrated, you know, because sometimes, like, really bad games are rated fairly. So... Fools. My Arcanum key must be around here somewhere. I must have it first for the creature, then my final masterpiece. Well, um, huh? what arcanum key would that be? Mephisto, what are you up to now? <laughs> he looks a lot like Yoda, don't he? Come, my servants. Like a zombified don't let Yoda. Them leave here alive. Flint, we're outnumbered. If we fight in an open space, we'll be surrounded. Over there. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> well, Butterfingers. So yeah, a few folks like you guys have a uh, a game. I mean, hell, uh, I got a Facebook and a Twitter. Or you can comment down. That's fine. Actually, so I'm supposed to uh, fight off like a bunch of these and stay on this tree branch, but if I just get close to the area, <laughs> no fall damage, I get close to the uh, the doorway, it'll just bring me back here, and I think that's a little oversight from the game developers. So there's no save here, because, which is sad on normal. Since there's a boss coming. It's a weird looking boss too and kind of makes you sad. Hey Yoda. Oh look at the kitty. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, what is See, I never understood what he's doing here. It's like winding up inside his ear. Ah, the children of the Is it like something that triggers a must be the leader? Like I thought it was just a child. Some sort of telepathy. But such an imminent presence calls for an imminent response. Fight my boss, you will. <gasps> Time to catch some mice, Pandora. So I didn't catch his name, Pandora, towards the end. Could have done a little bit more work with the voice acting. I mean, cleaning up the audio, I guess. Uh, it's kind of sad, like, had to do that with his kitty. Uh, so sad. Oof, alright. So, yeah. I did mention I did record this earlier. And, not gonna lie, it took me like three tries to to uh, face this boss and okay. and uh, yeah and there was that walk between uh, and there was that long walk between me between uh, the save point and the boss damn it all right could have could have chained that into uh, the something could have cheesed that Oh 
Okay, alright, never mind. <laughs> yeah, uh, this boss apparently has less life because it's already in phase two. Oh no! Okay, that's a little sloppy on my part. I apologize. Oh, come on. Alright, that was really sloppy of me. Alright, well. I think I will not top up. There you go. So basically, this is how I cheesed it. Basically, I baited out on an attack, then uh, sidestepped it. I should jump up to that side. There you go. So hey, if you folks get the have the misfortune of playing this game. On normal, this is basically the same strategy you can use. Which is, which kind of sucks. Like, this game is not built for normal. And I'm probably dealing less more, less damage than I am um, with a... You know, not only the boss has less lives, but I... My sword de deal, de deals more damage. So yeah, you folks are free to use <laughs> use that really cheesy strategy, but hey, it works. As you can see there, I have no defensive alternatives other than running away. <laughs> but yeah, there's the boss. That's me getting getting all the rewards, which is great. Please don't! Oh darn it! I. Okay, I lost. I lost. I lost that reward. That's fine. I got a big life crest. Okay, let's see. I do not want to talk to her, but what I do want to do is Flint, let's go back to Paco. I am feeling a little tired. Well, that's that's you. This is me. <laughs> Oh, alright, so this was where I came out from, alright. I thought this was a... Uh, I thought this was a... Uh, another dungeon. Alright, looks like we have to... We're going back. We're going back, 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 back. Hmm. So, something happened. Good to see you again, Prunewell. You're looking pretty fit. Did you lose some weight? Oh, ho, ho, just off my head, I'm afraid. But how are you, Finrod? We miss you in the palace guard. My goodness, what was that? I don't know. Nani? Prunewell, were you resting here the whole time? Ah, Princess Alexia, Sir Flint, you're all right. You didn't answer the question, Prunewell. What was that big boom? Was it an earthquake? I haven't the foggiest notion. It sounded like it came from the direction of Paco Village. Paco. Paco Village. It looks like we have to make our way there. Alright, just take note, like, from the point between that last cutscene and then me getting into gameplay is like five seconds long, and then we have more dialogue. Trying to leave me behind again. Woman, I wish I could. Well, anyway, let's hurry to Paco. Alright. 
will we be teleported there yes all right that's good i don't have to i don't have to run and, and try to dodge underwear wearing monkeys and hey it looks like we have our um some of the uh, cutscenes that we had from the uh From the beginning of the game. So, at this point, like, I thought this was gonna be another boss, and I just faced off another boss. I'm like, that kind of hurts my feelings. I, I. I had a hard time playing your, well, fighting your cat boss, and now I have to deal with this, which, to be fair, looks amazing. This is amazing tank design. Yes, like aesthetically, it's just amazing to look at. Yeah. I, I, okay, this kid is awesome. Being able to cheer on something so devastating and just say, wow, cool. Spoiler warning, nobody dies from this attack. The Paco Village. Now we're back! And music is kind of sad now. What on earth happened here? Let's split up. Yes, the villagers, what happened? I'll take a look around. Wait, let me... Oh, goodness. I've been playing it, like, super close. Ooh. House is gone. That's, uh... But... I honestly don't feel bad for you. Hey you, you made it to the end of the video. Good job! Well, a better job than what I've been doing. If you'd like more disappointment, check out these links. This is a warning, not a guarantee.